been that kind of game. But two and nine gives Canada the eight six lead as we go to the 10th and Sweden will have last rock here in this eighth round of women's play Canada looking to lock up at least a spot in the final four like that Jane Hooper Perot with her first one came in and now the Swedes put up the corner guard do we like that or do we like going through you have to decide at this stage if you want any more rocks in play if you're Canada Maryland's playing to the face of her own if you want to keep it a little bit simpler you could just even throw it through. Walk for line if you can. Walk for line. Left. Left. Walk for line. Yep. Wait, it's good. Yep. Come on. Right up. That's good. Good shooting, Jane. Shot, Jane. But I would do here is just play a freeze in front of that one. Linda? Yeah, freeze or a, a little tap back, keeping the stones behind it would be great. I think they're trying to get a chip or something with that ice. If you tap them back, that's right. Get them behind the T line. Keep them in play. You want to keep those two yellow rocks in the ring someplace. Yeah. The just freeze to the face, and then you force Marilyn to maybe make a play on it. And if she hits it wrong, and get, you get a jam. And you want as many rocks in play as possible right now. Interesting enough, this Swedish girl was rushing the Canadian stone. I think if I'd been Maryland, I would have been rushing it. Absolutely. Corey yeah. Beveridge. Uh, hooray! Whoa! 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 Try to roll that right out. Keeping our eye on the game between Japan and Scotland as they play in the 10th with a 7 7 tie. Scotland does have hammer. And this is the final stone for Japan. And Mayumi Okatsu. Hits and sticks right there. So the final stone for Kirsty Hay will be against two. Japan, though, could have made it a little more interesting, yeah. maybe by playing a draw around the guard rather than hitting the open one. Yeah, you're right, Linda, because if she can get around the guard, she can get uh, she can get buried or three quarters buried in the top of just still biting the forefoot. And if you hit it wrong, if you decide to play the hit, then you might jam it. And This is a good call here. This is what I would play for sure. Just freeze to the face of it. Just try and sit right in this pot. Whoa, just right there. Good shot. And that's why I might have tried to roll the top yellow one out of the house so that it didn't prevent you from getting at that red stone. Final stone for Scotland and Kirsty Hay is on its way. Remember now, Japan is four and three. Scotland three and four. It's a, really a must win for the Scots and Kirsty Hay from Perth. Christy's drawing away from the center line. She's got to make sure she doesn't overcurl this. Nice shot. To catch the four at the T line and a win for Scotland. Eight seven, the final score, and both teams are now four and four. Or sets up our big match Canada against Japan tomorrow. In the final and ninth round Robin draw for the women Canada against Japan and make a note of the time 2 p.m. Eastern. Pretty skinny but thick enough this, to get it out. This is the right shot of course that come down on your own hitting against that one or 12. against this one here and driving it this way. Come on, 
Corey, curl. Curl, Corey. Big shot, comes at the right time, Corey Beveridge. Yeah, looking up at the Kerr McMaster supporters. Ah, that's an engineering student, I don't know. It's a son, is it? I don't know. How do you wear one of those and be comfortable? What is it? Is what I'm asking. I think with this one, I might be tempted to go around the corner now that you've got the other yellow stones back enough. You just have the one Who's yellow that's that in the eight yet? foot. If you come around the corner, you then make Canada decide what to do. But not a bad call. I mean, if she sits in front of it and, uh, you know, if she taps it back, she has three at the back and it could be a possible jam. Oh, absolutely. At least she's playing quietly now, just playing down to the face of it. Erica Westman. Nice weight, it just didn't curl quite enough. Okay. What kind of weight? Um. So the zero disappears beside Finland. They've won their first. Wow. And Germany goes to five and three with their win over Norway. Look at the group at four losses. Sweden hoping to stay at four, but trailing here. Kingelard. That's Father Sam saying, that's my little girl. Funny though, you know, the execution right now, Linda, is, uh, it seems to have been, has picked up. You know, it's like they've said, hey, we have to turn it up a notch here. Definitely making better contact on these hits. It's tough when Sweden's trying to freeze though. You have to make the perfect freeze in order to prevent Canada from picking it out. Vi har inte inte riktigt vad jag ser ut för. Ja. Ja, det är det. Ja. Ja, jag vet inte, ja. Men så är det upp hit. I definitely can get around the corner and be second shot. That's what she's looking at. Mitt här. Ja. Eller framför där. Kanske går bra det, ja. Var den nisen du fick? You wouldn't freeze anymore? Oh, yeah, you could play the freeze. And you just, you know, she, Linda's right. You, she, uh, just trying a little something different. They uh, haven't made the perfect freeze there. Maybe she can get yeah. just get this by the corner and eight. get it buried in the eight foot. As Linda mentioned, she's going to be second shot. And I think it's a good shot right here. You've got to be in there for second shot. You might want to take it back and try and get it buried. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't, uh, didn't finish very well for no, it. didn't, did it? Just, uh, I don't think we need that big a weight. No. Twelve and a half, good. and time and rocks are running out on Sweden. Yeah. Well, 
Take a mucus medica then. Aw. She's trying to freeze to the back one. She can't see very much of it. I would freeze to the top one. Even moving it back a little bit, you now have four stones behind it. The last of the third stones, Sweden's Helen Edlund. They're going to leave it because it's light. Might be one of those blessings in disguise, Linda. How so? Well, because uh, Mary is probably, if Mary doesn't run, I hope she runs it off. She certainly should feel it. I think so. Absolutely, Peel. Peel, wait. Marilyn Bodo with her first skip stone here in. Ten and she leads yep. by two. Three. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yes. All the way. All the way. Take it, Corey. Take it. Take it. Good shot, Marilyn. It's over between the United States and Switzerland. And it'll be a 7-6 final with the U.S. beating Switzerland. So Lisa Schenneberg from Madison goes to 6-2. and two. Switzerland, Carolyn Gruz from Lausanne Nestle drops to 3-5. and five. So our game is the last game on the ice here in this eighth round of women's play. Trying to freeze to the back one, get it to make Good some dig. movement. It will move by the center line. Good dig. Good dig, yep. 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 Well, a little brushing, Linda. They probably would have had that frozen right on the face of the stone. It would have been perfect. Now it's, uh, it. now it's easy yep. to get out because she just hit, uh, Marin just hits her own. You brush that all the way and take it back to the face of the stone. Yeah. Good throw, Peel. So here are all the scores for you. Finland wins like their first. Room. Big win for Scotland to stay at four Japan losses. Won, Japan's there as well. Germany remains alive. Andrea Schopp mm -hmm. in the U.S. Trying yeah. to stay a game good. behind Canada, should Canada win it. And a chance is here. And now for Marilyn Bodo to run. Sweden out of stones. Yep. Whoa. No. And claim a Wait. place in the final four. And turning point brought to you by Apple Auto Glass. It really was a game of missed opportunities right from the start when Sweden had a chance for three in the first end and only got one. A big steal in Sweden for eight tied the game, but here Marilyn Bodo makes no mistake. She's got a wide open hit for two to take the two points through to 10, and in the 10th they made no mistake, so that's your turning point. And Canada with the win clinches first place. 
at this, the 1996 Ford World Curling Championships. Yeah, and from her McMaster schoolmates, it's hats off to Corey Beveridge in Canada here in round eight. A cash donation will be made to the Coaching Association of Canada on behalf or for the training and development of coaches in amateur sport on behalf of TSN and Apple Auto Glass with the Bond for Life system guaranteed safer coast to coast. The 1996 Ford World Curling Championships are brought to you by Unitel, working with AT&T Canada, Labatt, Good Things Brewing, and by Maple Leaf Meats, a cut above. So we'll be back with you for the ninth and final women's draw. It is Thursday afternoon, and note the time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Canada against Japan. Canada has clinched first place. The Japanese are sitting at four and four. It'll be a big game for them. Must win probably for the team from Tokoro. Congratulations to this Canadian team from the St. Catharines Curling Club. They will finish first here in Hamilton at the 1996 Ford World Curling Championships. Sports Desk is next. This is TSN.